Hello, this is Nikolai reporting for Kia Kids News. Today, kids are learning how to create their own code and Roblox. Let's get coding! Today, we're at Skill Samurai in Auckland, where Tamariki are taught coding. Tell us about the game you have been coding in Roblox. So it's basically an alien game and then you try to like avoid the um, circles. When um, they get red, they explode and then you have to try to avoid them to um, win. What's it been like coding this game? It was really hard, but I didn't give up. Why was it hard? Because it had really um, hard parts to like making it and it was really complicated. What have you been doing today? Well, today I coded a game um, where you have to escape a cell and um, there's lots of flashing lasers and you also get a slingshot that fires dynamite. So after the lasers, uh, well, you find out to have a whole wall of blocks that you can't go past. So um, that's why in the game um, I coded like um, a slingshot that throws out dynamites so you can blow up the walls and go past them. So how does coding work? So there's the code and there's the game. And if you want the game to be working, you have to input a code. So probably this, this one is the swap button. So the code of like when you press the button and then you swap into a different dimension is all in this code. There's a whole city outside and you can cause mayhem with your slingshot and, you know, like, blow up everything. What's cool about coding? Um, you could create more games, and it's basically helping you get smarter because you have to know what the codes do. Can you explain coding to kids? Yeah, absolutely. So essentially what coding is, it's us just talking to the computer and telling it instructions on what we want it to do. So, for example, as we can see in our project at the moment, we've got this dynamite, right? But it's not exploding. So we want it to explode. So we are going to need to write that code to make it explode. So the first thing we're going to do is I want you to click on add method. Awesome. And let's do on create. Awesome. So what this function is going to do is any code inside this function is going to run every time a dynamite is created. Uh, let's drag in this wait time. We want to wait a few seconds before the dynamite explodes so it doesn't explode immediately after we release it. How many seconds do you think we should wait? Two. Two seconds. So uh, type two in there. Sweet. So we've done our wait, and now we need to create our explosion. So to do that, you're going to click on the plus again. Awesome. And click on self. And then create type, so that top block. And then place. And so inside that type, we're going to click on that arrow. Click explosion. Now the first thing I want you to do is, you know how before when we walked into the laser nothing happened? Um, this time I want you to just walk into it and see what happens. Whoa! So it's exploded, right? And that's the coding that you did. Why do you think kids should learn about coding? Because coding is really fun and you can learn little stuff that um, can maybe give you a job when you get older. Wow, coding's pretty cool. Now I can shoot dynamite out of a slingshot and Roblox. This has been Nikolai's reporting for Kia Kids News. Thanks to New Zealand On Air.